Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new old school RuneScape Leagues video. In the last video, we finally unlocked all of our spells. We did some corrupted gauntlets, got some good drops. And if you are interested in everything else we did, I'm going to leave the playlist in the description so you can go ahead and check it out from the episode number one. However, in this video, it is time to probably continue PVMing, continue getting more tasks completed, and just all in all, get as many league points as possible. We're starting at 8,005. Let's see where we can get to. Ladies and gentlemen, we just completed uh, Karamja Easy Diaries. And you may be wondering, well, why would you do that? Well, my Herblor level is only level 3. Usually, you are not allowed to use your lamps on the skills that are low, but Karamja is an exception. You can use a level 1 skill, and we will experiment how much XP we're actually going to get here. So, I should be getting gloves that are gonna be useful, but most importantly, this lamp, I chuck it straight onto Herblor. From level 3 to level 29, I'm I'm just gonna clean a couple of herbs and I'll be able to use the rest of the lamps from diaries also on the herblor and I reached base level 5 base level 10 base level 20 got a bunch of points a bunch of renown I'm just entering the woodcutting guild and I'm just gonna get myself over 100 maples and over 100 use because I'll be able to do a bunch of tasks with those nice I just unlocked slash and burn which is actually what I wanted because now when I'm afking woodcutting my fire making goes up and there is us burning 100 u logs beautiful going to quickly work on some smithing and and fletching at the same time and I don't have any fragments I was going to say regarding this uh, but as I unlock more I'll be able to do everything in just one tick so let's see what this one is it could be something new it is not it's just a smithing double so we're gonna just keep going here and just make dart tips and then make those into darts and train fletching that way boy one inventory and I got three different production fragments anything new smithing double is now level two apparently even though I haven't done any of the quests myself I should be able to speak to historian Minas over here and he should be giving me a couple of lamps and we'll obviously utilize the lamps for herblor as it is my lowest skill and probably quite hard to train so uh, let's see how many lamps we can actually get okay we got three lamps at the moment but the more quests we unlock later on and the more we're gonna get we start off on 29 herblor moving up to 35 herblor moving up to 39 herblor moving up to 42 herblor haven't trained it yet haven't done a single thing and i get base level 30 completed beautiful just got base level 40s off of just picking this random galavanova fruits I gotta do one more run and I will have another task completed. I am an absolute idiot. Those were mine. I thought that he stole my fucking plan. No. Okay, I, I, I'm not even gonna bother doing any more then. I'll do more later. I see BA. Okay, let's just deposit this. See how much XP we get and get out of here, man. 50,000. Oh, I guess I'll have to. I'm so bad right now. Oh my god. Well, thanks for 48 farming, I guess. Hold on. I don't think it is as bad as it looked. I do believe that I just needed to plant this first, uh, first batch. So if I just plant them and not even worry about picking them up. I think I still complete the task. Yeah, the <laughs> okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just leave, let's just leave, we're good. Dude, am I gonna get this Galovaginova top or am I gonna be here for an hour or what is going on? It's an easy task, bro. I've been here forever. There we go. Galovanova fruit top. Took me a while for five points. I'll take it. Let's do some mass hole tasks very quickly. Could actually be pretty decent. 78k? <laughs> Wait, what? That's a bit ridiculous, though. No? There we go. That is another 50 points. Easy. Did I got a fragment from that. Nice. 30% go fast. No, it went down. It's a disaster. Yes. Oh my god, this is the hardest task in the league, bro. Straight up. Uh, but there it is. We served it. We got a production. Dine and dash. Beautiful. Let's move on. Alright, so here's the thing. There are a lot of tasks I can complete if I unlock myself Karamja 2. It only costs 7 points to unlock. There's also tasks to do if I unlock King's Ransom, for example. And that will also unlock one small favor. So, I think I think I just unlock both. I unlock the Camelot too, right now. There it is. This one, you see, one small favor for three points. Absolutely. I mean, it is a nice XP lamp if you want to spend an hour completing the quest and then get 240k XP, but I don't want to do it personally. Piety is already unlocked. I didn't need to do the waves. Someone said I need to do the waves, but uh, no, you didn't need to. You just click it and it's already unlocked. I'm also just for the sake using every single prayer. And look, immediately I got a return of a ton of points. So you spend points to get points. It's a no brainer thing to do. I should be getting a lot of clue scrolls catching these, no? Oh my god, 50 in a row. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be fast. No, it's banking my carambuanges. It is an absolute disaster. Right, unless I'm wrong, this guy should... There we go. Sell me that. Perfect. Bro, this is nice though. 6,000 cooking XP when it cooks them. Beautiful. I wish all of them would go to the bank all the time. This is actually an amazing spot to just come to and AFK it like forever. Like you get a shit ton of carambuanges. Look at this. It just cooked like... I, I got all of that in one tick. Oh my god. Okay, let's get 
this. It is a beautiful day to be fishing. That is us catching 100 crumbons, and I think the auto cooker should soon finish my cooking 100 crumbons as well. It is time to do some clue scrolls. I have a bunch. I'm gonna prioritize getting an MSB from hard clues, but I think I'll also complete some of the mediums, easies, and beginners. And this is the best time to do it. I have 3x drop rate, and uh, yeah, we can get a bunch of points. Let's get at it. I almost forgot about this one, but there is this. If I wear everything perfect. So let's just unlock Fremenic 2 for now. I mean, we have points to spend. Um, and I think there's a lot of points that I can get from there. I mean, almost immediately, look, we, we get a couple of points straight away. And then if I change my spell book right now, look at this. Like, it just completes stuff by itself. It's so insane, though, because I had, like, a plan that I wanted to clue scrolls. But then I unlock this area and there's so many free tasks. So now I kind of want to do tasks before I do clue scrolls. It's just really insane how it works in leagues. Like, you make a plan and then it changes almost immediately. Anyways, uh, let's use the bank. That's a task. Thank you very much. And I believe the Moon Clan teleport is also going to be a task. There it is. Nice. So at this point, I don't skim out on points at all. I don't care. I'm using all of them. I'm getting all the quests out of completed. Fremenic 3 unlocked. It is now fully unlocked. I believe I can now cast a spellbook swap into just go standard. And that is a big task right there. Look, I already got four points back just like that with a bunch of points. I feel like once you reach this stage in leagues, you have so many options to make a lot of points. So look, boom. Thank you for the points. And it's not a low amount of points either. It's 25. So you see how I just spent points, but I'm literally going to be right back on 17. It's worth it. Banking here is probably a task. And since I have a clue scroll that requires me to talk to this guy, dude, everything is just kind of flowing together. See, boom, already have another step for this. But now I can talk to him again, ask him for a good old helmet. 50k, you see this? Boom, wear that. Another task by a uh, pizza. Let's add this to it. That is a task done. And now I can unlock what I just wanted to unlock. And that is the Temple Knight. The reason for it, it's going to automatically complete the Slug Menace. So let's unlock it. With that, I now have the ability to go to Falador and buy good prayer gear, and that's also gonna unlock more tasks. So we're basically just unlocking quests, completing tasks, getting points, and just progressing really fast at this stage. Okay, let's see. If I have this guy right here, bless my symbol. Bless star, please. Yeah, and now I have holy symbol. That's a task. Bonus prayer of 30. There we go. The first heart clue scroll. Can we get an MSB? Can we get a black dragon legs or any other uniques? Let's see. Yes, we can. This is beautiful. Look at that. Bandoscoif, full rune, MSB, purple sweets. Oh, baby, we're gonna be doing revs in no time. So, MSB is a task. A nice little upgrade there. Hey, look at that. Enter the ranging guilds. Also, a task. We trade this fella. And, no, wrong guy. We trade this guy. Gimme, gimme. Look at this. Rune arrows. They're a bit on the expensive side, but they should last me for, for a while. How many do I... Do I just ball out a bit? I mean, I'm gonna be making money anyways. <laughs> Fuck it. Just, just buy them. It's fine. It's fine. We don't need money. We good. Since I plan on using range now that I got MSB, some rune arrows, this actually stacks with the range relics. So, it's gonna save me so many arrows. So we're gonna go and unlock that straight away. It's also gonna give me a nice ranging bonus. Anyways, I was accumulator. Chuck this in. Boom, by two in case I die. Look at us. We look strong. Here it is. We are able to complete all the clues. Let's go. Yes, there it is. Black Dehyde chaps. Two bodies. Not ideal, but the Black Dehyde chaps are there. Okay, we look like a problem right now. Here we are. Finally, all this detour, but now it is going to be time to make some money. Revenants. There they are. Beautiful. Let's uh, change change our relic choices right now. Here's what we're going with. Unholy Ranger with Bottomless Quiver. Then we have a set effect of Double Tap and the set effect of Absolute Unit. So we'll be tanky and obviously Venom Master is also gonna poison. This should be really good for revs. Let's test it out. Most importantly, I want to get Dragon Plate Legs and one of the rare drops and I lost my school so I gotta reschool somehow. <gasps> 16 mil! 16 mil! You're truly! We're rich! Holy fuck! Nah! We're rich! You are kidding! No way! You can't make this up, actually. You got 16 mil straight up. We can buy so much with that. Oh, and dragon lungs. Okay, but I'm like spoon fed or what is going on? Like, oh my god. And let's chuck the ancient relic straight into him for 16 million coins. Thank you for the points as well. Oh, man. Um, I guess I return to Slayer later. It is time to go do some uh, buyable tasks. So we buy this Onyx. Beautiful. That's a 1 to 5 task. Togzilak. We buy it. We wield it. And then we trade it. And then we sell it. Kedgzil. Wield it. Unwield it. Sell it. Oh, I can't right now. Whatever. Let's just see which other I need. Here we go. Had to buy some more Chaos Runes. Sold them for Tockle. And now Obsidian Cape. That's the expensive one. We wear it. Thank you for the task. There we go. We can sell the cape. Let's buy the om. Oh yeah, let's wear it. Let's not forget to wear it. It would be really awkward if I bought it and sold it, but never wore it. And there we go. And wield this one as well. And there we go. We just got us so many points. Okay, time for another unlock. It is time for Mauritania number three to be unlocked. There we go. 
full on unlock, except we should get a bunch of points back straight away. And now a lot of new tasks that we can do. Let's just get at it. 50 thieves done. Beautiful. Let's quickly uh, go to some sepulcher right now. Look, Frank is hiding. Who's a good boy? There we go. 50 pointer. Wait, is this decent construction XP? Oh, I need 56. Oh, it's a disaster. I can't even do it. That should be a task though. Completing the first floor. Nice amount of agility XP as well. Oh, I need 72 agility. So I'm basically already done here. But I think if I quick exit this one, I technically did complete the floor. So another task done with nice amount of XP as well. Well, restoring 75 prayer was a task and I quickly got a flail and I'm gonna kill two fire watches for the ashes. Go do another run of sepulcher. Oh, that's a task. Well, there we go. He's dead now. Right, here we go. This might work now, hopefully. Ooh, nice amount of prayer XP. Pass through. I forgot lockpick though. Okay, looks like I might not need it. There we go. We have the rewards. Beautiful. Uh, we'll be able to cash those in for more points. If I'm not wrong, all they have me do is purchase one reward from here. So I can just buy one of those. Easy peasy. Oh, there we go. I had to just do one more. And look at the number. 10,000 league points obtained. Nicely done. Let's make a Catherby teleport tab. There it is. Nice task. Okay, time for another unlock. We have a lot of points. Let's Let's unlock roll number three. That is monkfish done. Thank you. All right, let's do some easy contracts right now whilst we're here. That's the first task, 25. Thank you. Let's make ourselves a workshop. And we need a crafting table to upgrade to tier two. And then I can craft clockwork. Yep. There we go. Four clockworks. Beautiful. Couple of easy ones coming right up. First of all, emerald ring. Done. Second of all, ruby amulet. Done. And then I'm gonna just quickly make a couple of dig side pendants. That's also gonna be tasks when I teleport with them. All right, ignore my inventory. I can rub the necklace. That's an easy task. Wait, that wasn't a task. Oh, maybe I need to unlock the area first. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. I remember now. I gotta unlock the teleports and then teleport to a specific place. Uh, but Fossil Island unlock we now get to also build all the places around the map and the points are just gonna start flying up and the, the xp in construction is pretty decent as well so first we unlock the tree and then if i'm not mistaken i can use this on the strange machinery that's gonna allow me to be able to teleport right onto the fossil island and that was the actual task i think yep there it is beautiful stuff first genie of the account boom herblord thanks for the level appreciate it harvesting slash and burn level two nice oh yeah, I got it. It's one in a hundred and I got it. Nice. We take those. That is beautiful stuff. Nice. Let's continue on with tasks. I didn't expect to get that one done. So I'm happy I got lucky on it. Where's the dog at? Hey, look at him. He is handsome. There it is. That's a five points. We'll take it. Wait, that's a task to just unlock all teleports. Nice. Okay, production. You've caught up the rumple bowstring. Okay, let's take a look what this does. It allows me to spin flax 10 times at once, 15 times at once, or 27 at once. But also, it is a part of the craftsman perk, which allows me to smelt ore, smith bars, everything in one tick. So that's going to be extremely useful, actually. I was missing a relic to do that. So yeah, that's solid. Really solid. Okay, we all know the plans right now. We're just trying to unlock every single possible thing before we end the video so let's just go ahead and unlock the pirate without too much thinking pirate 2 unlocked we have seven points i didn't even check any tasks or if anything gets completed i just wanted to unlock it we're missing 18 points for that one for the myths and five points for the elemental so both elemental workshops i'm just gonna finish them it's also gonna give me some points back and now for the rest of the video we basically just focus on getting the last 18 points yeah let's go at it nice giga brain move soda ash boom boom nice how many more 12 points to go. Oh, it's gonna be so hype. I'm gonna have to start planning which bosses I'm gonna unlock now. I'm so excited, actually. That's also a task. We'll take it. And now the best part is, Jagex automatically planted these watermelons for us. So let's just see what our farming level will go to. So we're on 49 right now. That's level 50. Keep them coming. Yes, keep it going. Come on, and another. Oh, rip. Okay, well, I'll take it. 27 watermelon. All right, there we go. The shield is being created. There it is. Now we can go slay some fossil island wyverns right here. And now we got to kill the big guy as well. There it is. Complete the farming contract. Would you like another? Absolutely. Tier one. Strawberries. Yes, I can do you some strawberries. Oy, we got snake grass. We got corn. Bam. That was a lot of limpert. We take those. God damn. We even got the harvesting one. Come on. Give me the new one. Certified farmer. We talk about it. We get it. As you harvest loot, you get noted forms, basically. Really, really useful one. Nice. Happy to get that. Let's try to improvise here. Um, we're gonna try and attempt to kill Calphite Queen with this inventory and absolute unit. So basically, the queen will kill herself if our calculations are correct here. So let's give it a shot. Never mind. I did an oopsie and I forgot you need to unlock Calphite Queen in order to do it. That is uh, awkward. Wait, Calphite Guardian is a task. Let's kill a Calphite Guardian then. Apparently, Currently, I can just walk past this barrier and kill one of these guardians for 50 points. <laughs> yeah, this... 
<laughs> I don't know what this guy's blocking, but it definitely isn't to me. It's basically just a sign. You cannot go inside here. That's it. You see, there is no option. Oh, we're close. Four points to go. Just to show it to you, when you use the rope here, see, it blocks you. You can't go in. So it's just uh, there for a visual effect. Okay, a very quick plan is to reach 60 smithing right now. And look at that. That's how we're gonna do. Oh, okay. I don't have it fully evolved yet, but sometimes it should uh, give me bars. And I'm just gonna keep bars, drop all the ores, and we're gonna gonna bank the bars that's basically what we're gonna do okay change of plan this is way too quick so i'm going full banker and a little bit of uh, smithing okay let's try this now it, it will always go directly to the bank but i'll get two resources instead of three and let's see how this goes then yeah see it goes steel bars straight to the bank i get experience in both and we're just gonna be mining here for a little bit uh so two things i can reach i can reach 60 mining and get some tasks off of that or i can just reach 60 smithing or i can obtain a gem while mining and that's another task nice Hey, would you look at that, 60 mining? We're gonna just move to Falador right now. But we're gonna keep it going for a bit because I need to reach 59 smithing to make a mithril grapple. So let's just, yeah, move there. I obtained a clue geode while mining. That's a task we needed. Nice, just one little point to go. I think we'll finish it off by making a mithril grapple as soon as this ticks over to 59. There it is, 59 smithing. Right, let's go, let's go make this thing then. All right, let's take a look. Let's make a grapple. So first of all, grapple tip, let's create that. Then I believe if I just add this onto it no, I need a bolt. So let's focus on creating myself a set of bolts. Boom. Add feathers to it. No, I need the fletching level. Let's get it quickly. Okay, okay that'll have to do, right? Fletching. There we go. That's the fletching. Now we add feathers to this one. We add the bolt to that one. 59 fletching. Oh, I'm just being scammed left, right, and center right now. Okay, I guess we need to train a little bit more fletching. God damn it, man. Okay, well, uh, yeah, it's taking a, li a little longer. I might just change the task at this point. I can't believe it, man. Sometimes I really feel stupid. <laughs> okay, let's get unchained talent. There we go. And now I should be able to add this to that and add this to that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. And just like that, we have done it. And we are now able to unlock the final thing we wanted to unlock on the quest list. Look at that. Everything is green. And now Myths is also green. Just like that. So many more tasks that I can do. So much more to go for. I have so much time even to just keep grinding leagues right now. And look at this. All the quests completed. All the skills completed. And now the only thing left is the bosses. So this is where the fun will actually happen, I think. Really looking forward to it. Alright, so this is everything I had in store for this video. We're ending it off on 1648 total with 10,555 league points. And we are currently rank 60 in league points. And I haven't really been going for ranks either. So that is kind of nice to know in the next episode, I guess. We'll do a little bit more PVMing. I thought I would do it in this one, but then the lucky drop happened and it completely shifted our plan. But yeah, I really do hope you guys did enjoy. If you made it this far, make sure you like the video and I'll see you again tomorrow with another upload. Have a good one and bye-bye.